Mr. Popsit here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live and Mr. Popsit Fishing. Two other channels. It helps the whole brand grow. I appreciate the support. Thanks for popping by. Okay, guys, this is Steatosystoma multiplex. Very common. You see it on the chest here. Doing a little side lighting on it. We're going to mark all these and just a little tiny bleb of lidocaine, and we should be able to pull these out. I would say maybe 12 to 20 of them here, some bigger and some smaller ones, but we're gonna go through, mark each one, put a little tiny bit of lidocaine and then pull them out just like we did on the arm. So that looks good and that should get those out. So it's, you know, when he has his shirt off, it's gonna look a lot smoother. And we're always conscious of that post-inflammatory pigment. We wanna minimize that as much as we can. It will fade, but going into this summer, we want them to have the smallest scars possible. So we'll get them all prepped and ready. Okay guys, Mr. Popsid here, Steatosystoma Multiplex. We're gonna um, be doing some removals today. You've seen it before, different techniques. We're gonna go a couple different things today you can see here. He does have what looks like little blackheads. These are usually just real small pinpoint ones. I just do a little poke on those and we can usually squeeze those right out. But the bigger ones I put some lidocaine in, you can see there. I'm gonna start with these little four small ones or so. Yeah, there's not much coming out of these small ones. Same thing we ran into on his arm too. There's sometimes just a little sack right by the surface. So we got a little sack coming out on this one. You can see how, why they look like a blackhead. That actually looks like just a little infiltrate, kind of like a little blackhead really. And that's a little dry sack. There's not much in there when I squeeze it. It's not fluid filled like the other ones and that's common with the small ones sometimes. We really squeeze on them sometimes. We can get those to come out, but. There we go. Got that little black head out there. So you can see there's a hair attached to that one right here. And that is just kind of like a beginning one, almost like a black head. It's just a little ball right there. And that hair that comes off of it, and they call these vellus hair cysts sometimes too. There's all these little hairs rolled up in there. You'll see that. You can see two hairs on that one right there and right there. So small ones are very tricky. Kind of got to rough it up a little in there to try and get that out. Right there. Good. Ended up getting all of them. A little circle of hair and a little bump so you can see that's way different that could be the sack just starting there um, and get the last one of a bigger steatosystoma that was to come there we go we got the fourth one there took some squeezing that's why I had to numb them but that looks good mm -mm. So you see these little tiny sacks with every one of them has a little curled hair there. Just a little keratin. You can see, perfect. Okay, now we're going to the larger steatosystomas. Make a nice little poke into that sack. Should be numb. Let me see on this one too. There we go. And that's what we normally see. all those contents out and at the very end we'll see a little bit of the sack and then we try to get a hold of that but that's what you normally see in a steatosystoma there yellow or white creamy infiltrate so we'll start to get that coming up and then if we can get a bigger bite Teasing them out. Very good. On these dry ones, just like we did on the arm, we'll do a little burn. You can see 
trying to get some of his smaller ones, but when we go to these big ones, you're gonna see that creamy infiltrate we always see, but I try to get the ones before they get big, but you'll run into common when there's kind of a dried out sack where there's not much in there. And you try, if you don't get much out of it, you go to the next one and we'll do a little burn. Same with something like this here. We get into that pocket, we see that cream. So that's his big ones. Sacks are a little bit easier on those ones. There it is. See that thin little sack lining there. And something I found, you know, the more yellow ones seem to be drier and the ones that are more creamy are kind of more white. And it's not uncommon that he's been pretty dry on most of these that we're touching. So we're seeing a lot of yellow. And that's just, you know, sometimes how they present. They're not this one here. There we go. Oh, it's a little more creamy. Very good. That one's creamier, the sack always presents easier right there. But what I do to minimize, I'm making just, these are pinpoint holes. Um, if you transfer some heat in there, it shrivels up that sack and it goes away and we're minimizing his scarring greatly. Some people will open it up quite a bit, try to get, you know, pull the whole sack out. You can cauterize and get a great result <coughs> and I have them not come back. There it is. And sometimes I was going to say if we come back, I could still feel that one there. We got quite a bit out. You have to move this around to catch the sack sometimes. Very good. Not too painful? Mm -mm. <laughs> good. It's a lot of pressure. So let's see if we can get this sack. Go to this one right below it here. Another one. Okay. You can see that sack starting to present. We'll grab it, pull right out like that. Very fibrous, very thin wall. That's why electrocautery does a great job. It just shriv shrivels them right up, but we got a good sack out of that one there. Got those big ones. Hit all those small ones. Now he's got just three medium size here. We're gonna see if we can get <coughs> something out of. Actually, pretty good size one. And this one right beside it here. There we go. And right here. Perfect. You can see what's in there. Making sure that pocket's totally clear as far as no more juicy stuff in there. the sack. Look at this one. Very nice. If we find one that's pretty embedded down in there, can't get it with two forceps, then we do. 
a little burn on it. There you go. So you can see, it's got to get a good hold. It's a good little sack there, too. See a tiny bit of sack on this one. Trying to come out. Just little strips of sack there. Okay. Okay. So you can see here, these are tiny one to two millimeter, tiny nicks in the skin. Um, most of these we got sack out. Some of them, they were dry. There's not much gonna happen with that. Just heat up that entrance there. Stops any bleeders, closes that hole. And that's called wound contracture. Heat draws it together. And that's what we wanna see. And it closes that little tiny hole that we made. Okay. So that looks good. We got all of those, I would say, four, eight, 12, probably about 15 to 20. And those bumps, we'll do a follow-up and we'll pull the skin and see what bumps we have left over. Um, he had a couple that were just flat sacks, a couple that were pretty good size, and we actually got a lot of sack out. And then those little black heads where were just little tiny pores that you could see. Um, they're actually probably small sacks, but they look like a black head. They're a little darker. That was the first four that we did, but... You should have a great result. It will have some hyperpigmentation, but that should fade within six to 12 months and actually be pretty flat and good to go. We're gonna put some Band-Aids on for him and thanks to him for sharing and thanks for popping by. You can see the differences. It's not always easy to get the sack out. Now I could have cut him three millimeters and got any type of sack that was in there out, but he would have way more scarring. And this is an aesthetic area for males. They take off their shirt at the beach, things like that. We want to minimize that. And you'll see when he comes back in where the bumps will be gone. The heat will reduce that sack in there and destroy it. So and then it just gets reabsorbed. But you'll see all kinds of different techniques out there. And we did a couple different ones there. So thanks for popping by.